this city kneel before me, and then I will leave it in ashes. Uh, guys, can we move this along? I've got buildings to explode. Very good. I see there is still some fight left in you. Right. Yes. Now beat it out of him! Gordon is on his way, sir. You have to hold Vane off until he arrives. But a few more blows to the head and he won't be anymore! <laughs> you, payaso loco! <laughs> he hit you so hard it hurt me! Rooftop's getting too hot.
I'm the one who's trying to kill you. <laughs> Those were two very, very bad men. Ooh, the things they've done. You really don't want to know. They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Yeah, sure. He is. Take him down! Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The back. The partner. <laughs> My partner? Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting through thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes screaming through your synapses. Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. And then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own. Okay, I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. Accepted. I had a trouble. Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. <laughs> okay, one more, and I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. But tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that you're in? Life has been building towards this one moment. Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand. 
Listen, there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wave through all that wretched filth okay. on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... And how does that make you feel? Kind of nauseous. I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh... My name's Harleen. Harleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harney? Oh, uh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harney, you got one now. 